Hey there, I uh, wanted to take a few seconds to go through the new Aegis Flow uh, schema and kind of show you the idea behind it. So it's a template based system, which means that when we right click and we go to node templates, we can access a variety of things. Right now there's 12 different items that you can load, but the plan is that there'll be a lot of these over time. And of course you could build your own. Um, we'll go ahead and put in a loader right away and then we'll go ahead and put in a sampler and you'll note that all this stuff auto wires so you don't have to really worry about it um, and currently um, we're also going to load up uh, some common elements so let's go ahead and do that as well put in some commons and you'll see that it immediately got these um, uh, this common seed uh, so we can in any sampler we can choose between a uh, new seed or a seed that's common between all the things in the workflow uh, and so the goal is to make sure that that's always the case um, another thing is that uh, just best practice is to select new nodes or when you load them just immediately go in and right click and choose add group to make it simple. Uh, so we'll put the loader in its own group as well. And we'll put the sampler, this particular sampler, in its own group finally as well. And at this point, unless I'm dumb, uh, <laughs> I think I can press Q prompt and it should go through and generate an image, which it is. Um, but as you can see, it's not, um, you know, controlled or anything. I mean, it's not horrible. Uh, you know, a year ago, this would have been like, oh my God, that's the best image I've ever seen. Nowadays, it's barely passable. So um, in any case, you'll note this red uh, up here. Uh, this is a wiring, or rather a uh, latent size chooser. Um, if we change it, we'll get a different size down here. You know, now, of course, because it's wide format, we're getting multiple girls and whatnot. Um, by the way, the prompt is super minuscule. You know, anime Swedish woman. Pretty simple, right? Uh, not terrible results, I mean, considering that we're doing literally nothing there. Um, but anyway, if we wanted to have control nets, which really you do, uh, because that's how you use your own art as... Um, you know, part and parcel or components of uh, your workflow. Uh, we can go in and say node templates and add in uh, some preprocessor columns. I'm gonna shift and move those out of the way before we put in and put them in a group, right? And we're also gonna go ahead and add um, some preprocessed choosers, and automatically that all wires up. And let's go ahead and put that in a group, right? And then finally, let's go in and go to node templates again and do a control net stack. Biggity bam, all wires up. We'll put those in a group, all right? And the reason it's called Shima, Shima is Japanese for island. So think of these as <coughs> effectively islands, right? They, if I turn off the, the links, right? They're all sort of independent of each other, right? And if this was water, the only way to get there is via these sort of virtual airplane links, right? And the idea is that that way you can kind of move them around with impunity, um, but when you turn the links off, you know, your workflow remains pretty clean. Uh, the other key part is that, you know, these things wire up automagically, which is always, you know, really nice to have. Um, of course, we still have other uh, types of nodes that we can lo load in here. Uh, we can put in an FX pipe. We can put in, you know, it, an iterate uh, module, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Um, we'll go ahead and put these in groups. Add a group. Add another group. And now these are islands themselves that are fed from different things. Now, what determines 
what images get put where, right? Um, you know, because I could have multiple FX pipes, multiple iterates, multiple faces, etc. Um, well, that is actually pretty simple. Down here, uh, and I'm going to go ahead and turn off the links for the moment, uh, just to make it easier to see. Um, there is a, a setting in each sampler that's a name, right? In this case, gen underscore image, like generated image, right? But that can be literally anything that you want, right? So if I wanted to, I can go in here, uh, sorry, to node templates and put in another sampler, right? Put them in a group, just for good measure. And I can name this something else, like sampler two, right? And now that image that it's going to export will get piped off to anything that has this node with the slot named sampler2. So if I go and I run um, a second node here, let's say uh, a node template, and we'll do um, something lightweight like maskfx, and I'll add these to a group. I come over here, rename this to I think I stupidly put a capital, so sampler2, and I did because it wired up. When you see this, um, it means that the node is virtually wired, right? And when, um, when we push the button again, hopefully, if everything's working, keep in mind I just got this finished today, um, we're going to see, you know, some benefit here. Uh, actually though, I'm going to cancel that. And the reason why, because I forgot to do this. Over here, this big red thing, that's why I made it big and red. Um, go ahead and delete this. And the reason why is because this control net fed latent size, we want to use the control net uh, stack image um, that's being fed. So if I go ahead and turn on our links back on, We'll see now that those are being fed from some sends on the control net stack. And if I go over now and I push Q prompt, it's going to go through. You'll note that now we're getting an image uh, that is fed from specifically number three here, because on my stack I've got it set to three. Um, strength of 61 and I'm stopping it at 50% of the way through and then it is going to go through and run this um, in other places. Now why is it the same image here? Well it's because even though it's sampler 2 I didn't change it right so I'm still using the common seed and that common seed is fed from up here right so rather than doing that I'm going to go down here I'm going to say 1, and I'm going to give it a new fixed random. And we'll go ahead and push Q prompt again. And now we're going to get a new image. Not great again, because, you know, we're not really working hard to make it super cool right now. But the point is, as you can see, that image gets automatically fed around to anywhere where it is, right? Um, and that's basically it. You know, whenever you add new nodes, like so, like this saver, for instance, it's going to save the generated image uh, with a variety of, you know, information that's fed from these common areas. So, um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, Hope that helps.